Hi, Afnan here. Today I am looking at this pump from ESK. It's a power liquid filter. However, I use this for pump as a pump on my aquaponic set. If I need to provide inflow water to two grow bed. This pump is rated at 45 watt power consumption. Maximum flow is 2000 liter per hour at a height of 2.5 meter. So it can deliver quite a quite a flow at 2.5 meter will be zero flow and most of the time my grow bit is not more than one meter high. Okay, let's have a look. This is the standard packaging that this pump come in with. And let's have a look what we have inside. This is an old pump. Actually, it's a new pump body, but I have used the roto for another pump and now this uh, pump is no longer being used because I have replaced it for another pump. These are the attachments that come with it. We look at it later on. And that's the pump. Put the box aside. This is the base for the pump where we put the suction fit for stability or if you want to put the pump anywhere to to have it attached to an aquarium or fish tank so you can have suction fit attached uh, normally for aquaponics uh, don't really need the suction fit it's it's there to reduce some vibration or some noise in, inside the fish tank but most of the time a simple fit like a rubber bar is, is more more usable for aquaponic usage there's an arrow where we're going to slide it in so this is the pump it's rated at 45 watt 2000 liter per hour and maximum height is 2.5 meter it's made by ESK model 105 typical pump where you have an outlet and the inlet through the grill in front there are various attachment being provided with the pump two smaller attachment one bigger attachment for the inlet these two are for the outlet and this is for the aerator attachment the aerator attachment you have a short piece of tubes so you can have something like a snorkel and you will produce air flow with the, with a venturi effect with the pump probably you will be attaching something like this to the pump and it will be giving airflow into the tank if required this an attachment and this is another attachment where you put in to the pump like this so you can put hose with a hose clip and do the water feed and this is more like a interference fit where you can also put the aeration system so that you can this pump can act as an aerator pump let's open up the pump and we'll see what's inside put this aside pump is a typical pump where you can just open it up this is the grill part where you can filter some bigger debris but not effective against sand or small pebbles or small stone then you can have the inlet of the pump if you decide not to use the grill you can use this attachment and 
you can have this pump running most probably outside the tank where you can have water in through a hose and water out so this is for outside the tank kind of arrangement where you have this kind of arrangement the pump will be running outside the aquarium or fish tank with water in and water out uh, in aquaponic I rarely use this method of of uh, water feed because uh, you will put the tank outside the fish tank which may be not so good for it if we are having problem leak or whatever okay let's put all this aside to open this water pump is uh, typical you just unscrew this front uh, attachment anti-clockwise and just pull it out okay that's it that's where the uh, rubber uh, pivot point attach as a shock mount and that's the rotor and this is this rotor has been used but this body is new and you can see that's where the rotor recess and there is also a small a small hole at the bottom with a slit to the uh, rotor housing that provide water circulation for cooling or in lubrication that's the rotor for the pump and this is a typical rotor it's been used the weak point of this rotor is actually the spindle itself the spindle for this particular pump is made from stainless steel let me remove it and most of the time this stainless steel spindle is the one that giving problem as you can see from this particular spindle is already showing sign of wear and tear and it's very difficult to find a pump where this spindle is can last a long time uh, the best bet is to use spindle that made of uh, ceramic okay and just that's how we install if the spindle is worn the pump will not start smoothly sometimes we require to give it a bit of a knock and then it will just rotate once you rotate it will not stop but if there's a power failure it may not start on its own because of the damage or worn out spindle and this pump and uh, i did not use it anymore because of the spindle damage or worn out it's just a very unreliable however the housing is new because i have a few of this pump which i keep on change replacing the spindle with a, a new spindle from another pump it's quite difficult to get space for this because they are very cheap pump let's put it i show you one more ESK pump that I've been using for quite a while this was another ESK pump and as you, as you can see it's dirty and it's been used and uh, it's not really used for a long time but what happened is let me open it up the spindle has worn out so bad that uh, it has given me a lot of problem you can see that that's the spindle it has been worn out so badly to the extent that it's going to break I'm not sure whether you can see it in the video but that's how it is this is the bad part of this kind of pump 
is uh, so far I have used many of this similar design pump and all of them have shown same problem with the spindle and this is also not, not able to be used and to get the replacement spindle uh, is most difficult since they did not do a spare over here they expect you to buy a new pump but with some uh, retrofit from some some people suggest that we use a welding rod those the welding rod from the argon arc welding you can cut it and make it into a, a spindle okay that's about all on this ESK 105 pump it's a brief overview of this pump that I've been used but I will not buy this pump again because the spindle is not that good until they have revised the spindle by using probably a ceramic only then I can uh, reconsider of using this for my aquaponic uh, set okay bye thanks for watching